Four decades after they helped to define the video game market, a lot of groundbreaking arcade games are having a hard time staying relevant in a world dominated by Fortnite and Halo. A great example of this phenomenon is the Centipede franchise, which has been flailing around for more than a quarter century hoping to find a way to relive its former glory. They tried expanding the story in a 1998 adventure reboot. They had Way Forward turn it into a character-focused shooter on the Wii. They made it touchscreen on smartphones and even contemplated turning the series into a fantasy role-playing game on the Jaguar CD. Now, 40 years after the game first hit arcades, Centipede Recharged is here to remind us just why we fell in love with the series in the first place by giving us a shooter that ditches all the gimmicks and gives us a good old-fashioned throwback experience. Could it be that going back to the roots was the recipe for success this whole time? Gee, who could have seen that coming? There's no story to be found in Centipede Recharged. You won't find character names, fancy backgrounds, massive boss fights, or cinemas that flesh out the greater lore. What we get instead is a rather refreshing reimagined version of the original 1981 arcade game, complete with a challenge mode, leaderboards, and co-op play. It's a no-frills take on the series that doesn't try to reinvent the franchise, but rather lovingly recreates the original game while taking inspiration from other throwback titles, such as Space Invaders Extreme and Geometry Wars. Look, as obvious as it sounds, this is exactly what needed to happen to Centipede. I mean, it's a 40-year-old arcade game where you slap a trackball around with reckless abandon. Not some long and involved role-playing game with a deep mythology to pull from. The game is at its best when you're just shooting at bugs and trying to avoid mushrooms. Instead of trying to turn that simple concept into something that it's not, the goal always should have been to build onto the gameplay with new power-ups, new enemies, new levels, and more. You know, keep what people love and just make it better. Simple. That's exactly what you get with Centipede Recharged. It keeps the basic premise, changes the shape of the arena, and then showers the player with a bunch of exciting new power-ups. And you know what? It works! This is a throwback game that is easy to get into because the original game was already so damn fun! They don't even bother with bleeding-edge graphics and state-of-the-art technology as we're just shooting at wireframe insects crawling around a simple grid. It has a simple and clean visual style that simultaneously looks futuristic and retro. It lets you know right away that this is not going to be like all those other Centipede reboots, and that's a good thing. Now, in case you've somehow never played the original 1981 arcade hit, Centipede is an overhead shooter where the goal is to fight through wave after wave of insect invaders and avoid being killed. It plays out like a variation of Space Invaders, where our hero is stuck on the bottom third of the screen, shooting an enemy slithering their way down from the top. The big difference here is that we're given a lot more freedom to move around, and shooting the centipede will result in different parts of the body breaking off and forming their own enemies forcing the already frazzled player to keep track of a bunch of extra bad guys all at once. Just like the arcade game, the ultimate goal is to stay alive and earn a high score. This is made a bit easier thanks to the addition of power-up carrying spiders, characters that drop extra firepower that'll help tilt the odds back in your favor. There's a nice variety of weapons to be found in Centipede Recharged, including a spread shot, explosive bullets, a powerful rail gun, and more. You'll also find defensive powers, such as a protective shield and a ghost that'll scare the enemies back up to the top of the screen. And even if they're not as visually impressive as what we got in Space Invaders Extreme, these new Centipede weapons are still a lot of fun to wield. The problem with high score hunting is that the core gameplay can grow repetitive and become boring after a while. That's certainly the case here, even with the new weapons and power-ups. 
and if that were the only mode, I'd have a hard time recommending this game to anybody but the most hardcore Centipede fans. Thankfully, that's not all you get in this recharged package. If you're gonna buy this new game, then it's probably gonna be on the strength of the surprisingly great challenge mode. It's here where we're tasked with completing 30 difficult missions using all the elements that you've come to know and love from the Centipede series. These challenges can include racing to a certain score, shooting down only one type of insect, killing enemies using randomly placed bombs, surviving for a set amount of time, and a whole lot more. I especially like how the game keeps adding layers to the challenges, such as the times when you'll need to kill a certain number of insects without destroying any of the mushrooms. And best of all, every single one of these challenge stages come with their own leaderboards. That way you can compare your best time against your friends and the rest of the world. But for as much as I love the challenge levels, I can't help but feel a little disappointed that the same attention wasn't given to the standard arcade mode. I'm not looking for a complete overhaul of the original or anything, but it definitely feels like more could have been done here. I don't know, perhaps something as simple as just rotating the backgrounds would have helped to shake up some of the monotony. It also would have been fun to see some of the timed modes that made Pac-Man Championship Edition so addictive, or maybe just more random elements. Look, it does a good job of reimagining the arcade hit, and it's a lot of fun to play. But the standard mode is just missing something. It needs to be a little bit more over the top. Of course, the reasonable $10 asking price certainly helps to keep expectations in check. No, this is not going to be a deep shooter that changes the way that you look at the genre. This is a simple update to a game that came out at a time when simple was the status quo. The developer has done a good job of adding new weapons and abilities to the mix. The real reason to buy this game is to test your metal with the 30 challenge levels. That is what makes this reboot better than all those other Centipede games that came before it. Centipede Recharged isn't interested in reinventing the long-running series or adding a bunch of nonsensical lore. And that is a good thing. This widescreen update to the classic arcade hit manages to excel by sticking close to the original roots. It has a vibrant art style, a fantastic electro soundtrack, and all kinds of challenge stages to master. Yeah, the standard arcade mode may be a bit shallow, but there's more than enough content in Centipede Recharge to warrant the $10 asking price. Finally, a reboot that remembers what made the original game so much fun in the first place. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What old school arcade game needs a modern revival? And here's a bonus question. How would you go about updating it? I really like how this game takes everything that was good about the original Centipede and just simply adds to it. I mean, look, sometimes that's all you really need to do. I'm excited to see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a discussion about Taito's unannounced games and a review of Crisis Wing. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.